Saika and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a kind of fun video for you guys. It is doing a full phase of makeup with using only new makeup. So these are stuff that I've recently purchased myself um, or stuff that I've had in my collection but I haven't used it yet. But for the most part it's stuff that I recently purchased. Um, I don't know if you guys want to keep watching. I know I look scary right now. The eyelashes are way too much. Um, this is the first time I bought um, the Sephora collection eyelashes, so I didn't know what it was going to be like. I bought it online, so I didn't know what it was in person. Um, if you guys want to see how I did this look or how I got here, then you keep on watching. So we're going to start off with the NYX Pore Filler. and I, I've been wanting to get this for a really long time, but it was always sold out at my NYX store. Um, finally, they had it in stock, so I went went ahead and bought it. I think this was like 12 or 16 dollars or something like that. I can't remember. But we're gonna try it. But the consistency is a little um, on the dry side. If, like it's not like um, liquidy if that makes sense. Put it on. I have really huge pores. It has a really um, not really silicone um, consistency. But, I don't know, it's weird. It's not oily though, so I like it. I did get the sample of the Make It Forever HD foundation. So we're going to try it out. Um, this is a sample. I'm not sure if this is going to be my shade, so we're just going to have to see. I don't know. I mean, I'm a, ugh, it looks a lot darker than my skin tone, but... It looks a lot lighter in the container, but on the actual... Um, if I pump it out, it looks darker, so... It's probably gonna be too dark for me, but let's, oh yeah. Let's just see, let's put it on regardless. I think this is my only new foundation, oh, besides um, another sample of the Sephora foundation. Let's just see. Um, and I also have the NYX um, makeup sponge. I've been trying to get this for so long. It was always sold out, oh, sold out. It was always sold out online. And I think I checked a couple times and it was sold out in the store. So they finally got it as well. So I went ahead and picked it up. It was ten dollars. Um, I've used it bef uh, maybe a couple times, and I am loving it. I feel like this will be my new favorite uh, makeup sponge. Yeah, the foundation is a little too dark for me, but I think it's still okay. Or it's a little on the warmer side too. It doesn't look too bad on camera though. Oh, it's very lightweight though. Okay, the foundation is really lightweight. Now I have to see if I'm liking it after a while but this shade is a little too warm for me so definitely not the shade i think this one is in hold on oh sorry it's y445 i think that's the shade i'm loving the makeup sponge for sure i did get a sample of the bobby brown concealer this is an instant full cover concealer so i'm gonna go ahead and use it to highlight oh it's a little dry oh this is like really thick and I think I'm probably putting way too much because the consistency is really thick. I'm just going to try and blend out the concealer with my sponge. It's giving me really good coverage though. Not that, um, I'm really liking the concealer though. And I also picked up the Maybelline um, Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. It looks like this. And I got it in the shade Light. Um, they didn't have any testers. So hopefully this is not too light for me. Um, from the outside it looks a little kind of like closer to my shade. The medium looks a little too dark. So I went ahead and picked up the light shade. I also did get the Laura Mercier um, Translucent Loose Setting Powder. And I only got it in the travel size or the sample size or the mini size because the um, Regular size is like $60, and I didn't want to spend that much money. This was only $28, but I, I want to go ahead and try the Maybelline one. This was, I think, like $8. So, grab a little bit, put some on my under eye, dab a little bit. Okay, even I feel like the light is a little too dark. I mean, not dark, but it's not as light as I thought it was. So, a good thing I got the light um, shade, because if I got the medium, it'll be... Would have been way too dark for me. Um, when I went to next, I also picked up a brow pencil, and this is the Precision Brow Pencil, and it looks like this. 
Um, I got it in the shade taupe. Um, the other side has a spoolie, so that's good, which is kind of um, a regular thing for brow pencils. Everything comes with a spoolie, so I'm just going to try and quickly fill in my brows. I feel like it doesn't really um, give a lot of um, pigment, and it's also in... It's also on the harder, or it's not like soft coal, like if you know what I mean. It's more on the harder side. And then I also got this eyeshadow palette from Amazon, and this is in the brand Color Me Buff, I think. That's the brand, and this is in Natural Nudes, and I think they have like different shades or different eyeshadow palettes. And I think I saw a blush palette and a bronzer palette. Um, so I'm going to show you quickly what it looks like inside. It's in, it comes in like a very cheap like tin um, case. So I'm just going to grab this brow color right here. Let's see. And then I'm going to get the shade right here as a um, my inner corner. And I want to swatch a shade for you guys so you can see. So I can see too actually. I don't know. I've never tried this before. I'm going to swatch this shade right here, and it's like a, a dark brown with like a red undertone. It didn't really swatch very well. <laughs> this is what it is. Um, it was very patchy, but we're going to see how it is on the eyes. So we're going to take that shade and put it on a crease. Mm, it looks okay, but it, it is... It's like just a lot of fallouts and it's like I said it's patchy. Does it not it's not very easy to blend. And I'm gonna take this shade right here, which is like a shimmery color, and put that on our eyelid. It's like a bronzy color. Oh, the shimmers are actually good. And I'm just gonna take a little bit this blue oh, take this black eyeshadow and put it on my outer V. Oh, the black is really nice. Actually, the shimmer color is really nice, too. And like always, I'm going to take a little bit of my transition color down my eyes. And that's it for the eyeshadow. Really easy, simple. For my eyeliner, I picked up the Tarte Sex Kitten Liquid Liner. It's really nice, though. Really black. But I think I'm going to return it because I like the Kat Von D um, ink liner because it's felt tip. I don't, I'm not a fan of an actual brush. If it was a felt tip, ah, I just pulled my eye. If it was a felt tip, then I would love this. So we'll use this black shimmer from e.l.f. I got it from my recent elf haul. I'm just going to warm it up on my hand. And align my lower lash line. Okay. And I'm going to be back and put on lashes. So yeah, when I shopped um, at the Sephora website or the app, I picked up um, a pair of false lashes. And this is by Sephora. And I was looking at the pictures they had on the, on the app and... I thought the normal ones were not like very simple so I went for like I think this is a full volume one and this is a oh this is a dramatic volume and it looks a little too much I feel like so we're gonna try put them on see how they look like I don't know it's gonna be like too much for me so we'll see oh my god that is fucking scary <laughs> Oh my god, this is too much. I've never worn lashes like this, ever. Anyway, so um, for mascara, I have the Tarte um, Lights Camera Lashes. Um, I bought this recently as well. So we're, we're just going to coat our um, bottom lashes to make it a little even. Oh my gosh. Okay. 
Okay, so that is it for our eyes. I did buy the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit, and and this is the the powder one. Um, it was on sale. It was fifty percent off on the Sephora app, and by the time I got it, or by the time I was looking, um, it was basically sold out except for the tan to deep shades. So I got it in the tan, tan. I got it in the tan or deep. So. <laughs> Um, we're just gonna contour a little bit. I think I'm gonna take this shade right here. It's a little on the warm side, but hopefully it still works. I'm gonna take my simple brush of L. Take a little bit on my jawline. Every time I film, it's so hard to see my contour. Like, I can't see properly. And I look like a freaking drag queen right now. I'm going to take a little bit on my forehead as well. So I'm going to take this highlight shade over here. Look at the highlight, dude. Um, for my nose, I'm going to take this shade right here. You know what? I think I'm liking that contour kit. Contour kit. I think I'm liking that contour kit, even though it's not really for my um, skin tone. But that's okay. Um, for blush, I do have the Elf HD blush here. This is the only blush that's kind of new and I haven't used it yet. Um, hopefully it works. I'm going to pump it out on my... If it comes out. What the hell? So it looks like that. I don't even know how I'm going to put this on. So I'm just going to take a little bit. Oh, shoot. So a little goes a long way. Okay, so the last thing we're going to do is lips. And I have a lot of lipstick in my collection, but um, I'm going to use this Lancome lipstick that I got, I think, for Christmas last year that I haven't really used yet. And this is in the shade 385, and it, it's a really like pretty um, um, plum color. So we're going to quickly put it on. Okay, so this is the final look with a full face of all new makeup. Um, the eyelashes are way too much. I look like a freaking drag queen right now. But this is what is all about. Trying on new makeup, new makeup products, and whatever. So hopefully you guys like this video, and I will see you in my next one. Bye! And you know what? I look like a freaking drag queen.